One of the standard methods to diagnose patients having acute coronary syndrome is elevated levels of cardiac biomarkers. So what are the biomarkers, their types, and clinical significance and kinetics is discussed in this topic, along with laboratory tests and method of interpretation. When the heart is damaged or strained, molecules called cardiac biomarkers are released into the bloodstream. In clinical practice these cardiac biomarkers usually investigated to rule out either risk of acute coronary syndrome or diagnose it in the acute stage. First troponin T, second CKMB or creatine kinase, third myoglobin, fourth NT pro BNP and last height sensitive CRP for the future risk assessment of cardiac patients. Troponin, or the troponin complex, is a complex of three regulatory proteins troponin C, troponin I, and troponin T that are integral to muscle contraction in skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle, but not smooth muscle. Measurements of cardiac-specific troponins I and T are extensively used as diagnostic and prognostic indicators in the management of myocardial infarction and acute coronary syndrome. The subunits of troponin complex are, first troponin C that is CTNC binds calcium, second troponin I that is CTNI inhibits actomyosin interaction, and third troponin T that is CTNT binds tropomyosin. First of all we will discuss what is troponin T, its clinical significance, laboratory investigation and interpretation and the difference between troponin T and troponin I. Troponin T is a component of the troponin complex, which is made up of proteins that help skeletal and cardiac muscles contract. Skeletal and cardiac myocytes both express them. Troponin T attaches to tropomyosin and helps place it on actin, modulating striated muscle contraction with the rest of the troponin complex. Tro-T test is often ordered by clinicians, as troponin T is released into the bloodstream and heart muscle is damaged, so it can be found on blood analysis of patients with acute myocardial infract. Normal troponin T levels in blood are less than 22 nanogram per liter in males and less than 14 nanogram per liter in females. The elevated values suggestive of cardiac injury or other diseases with cardiac issues. The verification of acute coronary syndrome can be done using one of the following along with elevated troponin T values. Ischemic symptoms along with elevated troponin T or electrocardiographic changes suggestive of new ischemia. New pathologic Q waves or imaging evidence of myocardial damage. Most CTN or cardiac troponin elevation occurs about two to three hours after onset. 100% CTN elevation after 6 hours and can last for about 1 to 2 weeks. It's important to repeat the troponin test after 6 to 12 hours from onset of symptoms. Both troponin T and troponin I are elevated after 2 to 3 hours of onset of symptoms, so it's necessary to measure these markers before primary intervention in clinical practice, along with CKMB, lactose dehydrogenase and AST levels, which we will see in next topic.